Now we're on page 52 of your cardiac dysrhythmia interpretation workbook, and I want to talk about uh, supraventricular tachycardia. So in an SVT, uh, tachycardias are typically between 140 and 250 beats per minute. Now keep in mind, uh, as I described in uh, the earlier slide presentation on sinus tach, that if a patient is at rest and has a heart rate greater than 160, it's very unlikely to be sinus tachycardia, even if you see discernible P waves preceding each QRS. So with an SVT, um, the onset is abrupt, and, and when we see it uh, happen abruptly, we call that a paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia, and I'll, I'll talk about PSVT shortly. But when we see a tachycardia like this, it's, that's a sustained tachycardia um, with a heart rates between 140 and 160, uh, P waves are usually not clearly discernible. Um, oftentimes they're buried in the preceding T wave, and sometimes you'll see a little notch coming off the, dis the, the descending portion of the T wave, and you'll see that consistently. Um, and that may, you know, you might call that a P wave, but don't mistake that for uh, a sinus P wave. That's usually um, uh, an ectopic focus that's causing this SVT. P interval is not applicable if the P waves are clearly not discernible. And the QRS is usually narrow, and I put an exclamation mark there, because if you see a uh, a tachycardia without clearly discernible P waves and the QRS is wide, we have to assume that's a ventricular tachycardia. So a wide complex tachycardia without clearly discernible uh, P waves is a, is a ventricular tachycardia until proven otherwise. That's why it's very important that um, we only make the interpretation of a supraventricular tachycardia when the QRS is narrow with uh, you know some exceptions when we get into more advanced dysrhythmia interpretation. but. Um, Easy, simple rule to remember is narrow complex regular tachycardia without clearly discernible P waves is SVT. If the QRS is wide, it's VTAC until proven otherwise. The ratio uh, is not applicable if we can't see P waves, and the rhythm is regular, right? So this is not a compensatory rhythm. This is a dysrhythmia that has to be treated, and uh, I'll talk about um, treatments of SVT in another presentation. 